Out of my way, I need weapons. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Jackson. We're playing some Mario, uh, Super Mario RPG, Legend of the Seven Stars. I just did about, a. Uh, okay, I just did about a uh, 15 minutes or so of some grinding, leveling up a couple times, and I realized you can get armor, so I bought them some clothes, uh, so that Mara's not fighting naked, that might have had something to do with it. Oh, come on. Okay, so we're back here, we're gonna catch this guy, and let's see if we can fight him again. Um, you know, I was thinking about... Uh, your eyes are much faster than your feet. At this rate, it'll take you a hundred more years to catch me. What? And I go right there. I don't understand the difference in, like, how you approach him. I guess you just have to touch him from behind. Um, I was thinking about this the other day, about how, you know, I, I have... This, I'm playing this on the little Super Nintendo Mini. And I often think about which of these games I would have played... Had I had a Super Nintendo uh, at this time, I mean, when I when I was a kid, I guess. Um, and it's interesting how, you know, there's a Nintendo people, there's PC gamers, there's uh, Sony and Xbox people, and the casual mobile gamers. And everyone's kind of got their format and their, um, you know, preferred method of play. But even then, division. Uh, uh, not a lot of. Okay, let's let's take a second to think about. It. Let's look at how this goes. So, I couldn't find any weapons for Mallow. I don't know how that's gonna go. Um, they have Thunderbolt and Fireball attacks, but uh, but I don't know how Mallow's supposed to do much damage. If he, like, okay, I got a couple more items, too. Um, honey, honey syrup, mushrooms. I don't know what those flower tabs and whatnot are supposed to do. If I die again, I guess I'll try using those and see if they, if it's like a permanent raise to my flower points or whatever. But I, I just don't understand how all this works exactly. Um, defense, what about that? If he's just going to take hits and can't do damage... Okay, so if I use Fire Orb, and I'm just supposed to press Y repeatedly, right? Let's see how much damage I can do with this, because I don't know. Does this put him on fire? Is that an idea of, like, it wastes a turn of his or something? Because he's going to need his, he's going to need to keep up his stats for HP rain. Okay. Thunderbolt. What, what kind of frog can do that? What kind of frog takes his pants off? Dousing a tail fire. I guess just spam these attacks. I, I don't know any better method. If Mallow can't attack, I couldn't buy a weapon for him. Because I was assuming, since Mario has a hammer, maybe that's why Mallow was doing garbage. Like, that's with getting the timing right and everything. Okay, he's got higher defense now. That's at least something. Um, now I think it's time for a honey syrup, so let's keep attacking with that. We'll give Mario... Oh, they have to drink it themselves. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Well, no, let's, let's try HP rain. On Mario's... yeah. Okay, 30 health. I, I don't know how to block that still. Oh, why can't it be like a honey rain? A little golden shower for Mario. Give him some more uh, firepower. Since he's got to eat it himself, come on. 10, okay. So, if I can Thunderbolt... I don't know why they're giving such a tough enemy off the bat. I can't get that right either. I can't get anything right. Again, and again, he's got a 60 healing mushroom. What is that nonsense? Okay, so I thought this gave me 10. Why do I only have 8? 72. Okay, again, like he's down, but 
Okay, I'm gonna keep... I need to keep a little bit in case I need that HP rain, but... Why did it... It gave me 10, didn't it? I don't understand how all this works. Like, boom, 10. Why did he have 8 a minute ago? He's got 13, because each of these only use 1? And what are the dancing flowers? I feel like I'm going crazy here. What are dancing flowers? Come on. Again, I can't. didn't get that timing. Huh <laughs> huh. Ah, I got that one. Man. Okay. Um. Fire orb. Just spam buttons. Uh, oh, okay. Maybe I actually did something there. Really? Wait, so it's it's semi-scripted. How what point was I supposed to get to, and how on earth did I not get there last time? Go on, take your grubby old coin. Adios, amigos. Okay, that was a lot of build-up for what appeared to be way easier the second time. <sighs> Flower tab. Let me look into what those do. Um, God, what was his voice? Um, mm, yeah, we, no, wait. Yeah, we did it. That's what it was. It was like a raspy. <clears throat> yeah, we did it. We got Grandma's coin back. Now I can finish my errand now. Hey, look at this. That Crocker guy left a wallet. We can take his identity now. I'm Croco. I'm going back to the shop at Mushroom Kingdom. Are you coming? I mean, you're, you follow me around, so yeah, I guess I'm coming. Alright. That was, that's handy. Very useful there. I don't need that. I don't, I don't need you. Alright, Mushroom Kingdom and we're back. Okay, this is different. Where's the, oh. Let me save inside the inn. Got a little more custom with the world around here now that um, I had to do that to go shopping and whatnot. Okay, so I'm supposed to take the coin back to the shop, right? Oh. What? How can you shop at a time like this? Just take what you want and leave some money behind. I thought I was supposed to, wait. I don't know if you're items, manager. Yep, that's how it works. Sell... A fat wallet. Flower tabs are worth a lot. Which makes me think I'm just supposed to use them. Raises flower points. Yeah, I think that's general flower points. So I better use those. A fat wallet. I don't know. Can you equip a fat wallet? Mario earned the ability to show off. Flaunt your wealth. Rare frog coin from Frog Fucius. And... Okay, they learn new moves in two levels. Where would I find... Wallet effect. Okay, I, yeah, I guess I'm just supposed to sell it. Um... Okay, maybe that's... Maybe... Do, uh, do they share flower points? Is that the, the idea? That's weird. <laughs> it's a weird mechanic. Um, for not, like, each character to have individual mana. Oh, man, that's... Apparently we visited Kirby World at some point. It's weird seeing some characters from Mario... Or from any uh, world appear in the other universes like Kirby is in Link's Awakening or in a form he he's like and so is Chain Chomp but they're called Bow Wows and I can't remember what the Kirby enemy is called same as how like I mean I guess half the Mario characters came from a weird from Doki Doki Panic before 
it became a Mario game at all. Okay. Oh, 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 yeah, he was just right on the edge of death right there. And apparently he goes after I have initiative twice before him. A shyster. Okay. Is that what they were called at this time? Or no, wait. No, they still would have been shy guys because they were in Super Mario World. Okay. Thanks, Mario. I'll continue to stand watch, but now everyone seems suspicious. Now I can be prejudiced against all skin colors. By the way, look what I found. Another fat wallet. We're balling today, Mario. Am I just supposed to save everybody here? Gimme, give gimme, give all right. Um, oh, what I was saying earlier. It's interesting to me how everyone's kind of, for Nintendo at least, there's, they don't have this as much of, of Xbox and Sony. You don't have this, like a specific uh, character or franchise you identify with. But with a lot of Nintendo, it seems like it's like, oh, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Mario guy. I'm a, I'm a Zelda guy. You know, I like, you know, that's my series. Like, I play all the Zelda games, or I love the, I, I play all the Pokemon games, or whatever. And it's interesting how, diff how, how polarizing in a, in not a aggressive way, because some game franchises, or, or specifically the consoles like which which method of playing a game that's polarizing that's why we have pc master race and exclusives of sony and xbox wars and whatnot i mean not as big as the console wars of like sega and nintendo i guess back when it was less going on but that was too darn close thanks for the hand mario hey that's the wall the crocodile swipe from me can i have it back oh wow i guess here, I'll give you this as a reward. Now go on, take it. Flower tab. All right. So it was either sell it for uh, like 120 bucks or get another flower tab. Boom. All right. Now I'm getting it. I understand. But like me, I there was like some series that I was kind of um it it not in inundated, but um the franchises I started with. And then either grew out of, stuck with, or the ones that I picked up really late. Like, I picked up Kirby really late, but I love the Kirby games. I think Kirby's Dream Land... Kir yeah. Kirby's Dream Land 2 on the Game Boy, the original Game Boy, is probably... Actually, that's hard to say that it's my favorite Game Boy game when it's competing with Pokemon Red and Blue. Because those, I've literally been playing since I was one year old. Um, that, I would say, with Nintendo, I was definitely a Pokemon sort of person. Where, you know, it, starting at like, it, Super Smash Brothers is a great example of everybody's got their characters based on, sure, the ones they like to play, they've got their mains or whatever, but, um. Yeah, she's right, I guess we can put it off until things cool down around here. Not the perfect place for a wedding, but now we're all stuck inside. I've saved you, you can go outside, you're welcome. How do you like this person jumping in front of you now, huh? Funny prank now? Oh, three of these guys. Uh, that's not worth it. All right. Um, so it's like I've always, I've always been in terms of Nintendo a Pokemon sort of person, but um, okay, zero. I don't, I don't know how to block this, but I'm doing zero anyway. Um, I should use lightning. That would have been a good idea. Yeah, again, maybe I need to hit it sooner. Um. But, other than, I mean, for Pokemon, I guess for, there was a little while. Every, I feel like a lot of people go through a phase of uh, all the things they liked as a kid, no matter what it is, is like becomes childish, even if it's not necessarily. Because you, you, a bunch of my friends and I all had that moment of like, we, had, we went through the phases of not liking Pokemon because it's childish. And I'm sure I had the same feelings about Kirby and whatnot. It just wasn't as prevalent in my gaming universe um I like that obliterated by nature I did nothing I my conscience is clear they died on their own accord hey Mario look we're st really you're gonna still do this to me oh, okay I shouldn't have saved that one but we all had these moments of like nah Pokemon's for kids um and then, you know, if you, 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 you're out of it for a few years, like I was really out of it from 
like platinum through uh so what that been 2009 through i never i played black two really late i never played white white or black or white two um and then i think by the time i was playing black the next ones would have been x and y I, so i think x and y were already out and i got that one about a year late and then i kind of got back into it but it was definitely a a, a, a phase of like that's that's good stuff um but then when i was when i got into like actually collecting and playing through my retro video games so i realized how much like i still enjoyed pokemon but then other ones like kirby and whatnot and then i realized through that as well that i'm not as big of a zelda fan as i thought i was like you know you grow up with a game and you think that you're all about those games so, and I was like, well, yeah, I'm a Zelda guy. I, lo I loved Ocarina of Time. But then I was like, oh, wait. That and, like, a couple others is, like, out of the 20-whatever Zelda games there are, I was like, oh, those are the only ones that I've really cared about. And even then, it's not like... I have a friend who he would um, play... He he'd play Wind Waker and Twilight Princess each, like, once a year. Um, he was at, at least... Like he was saying how he's beaten each one like seven times. I was like, I can't imagine doing that. I don't want to imagine doing that. Um, but then again, I'm the same way with Pokemon. You know, I've I don't know how many times I've played Gen One in Pokemon, and then, um, and but what I, was, what I was saying about Smash Brothers is like looking at those first you know, back in the day of on the 64. Looking back at those first, uh, what would have been 12 characters. Um, sure, some of them were from the same game, like Mario and Luigi. Where am I going? I thought that would end. Let me heal in the end. I thought I was, like, just trying to knock out a certain number of these shy guys, and I would be done. Why don't you crash for a while? It only co it'll only cost you three coins. All right. Um. Hello? Nope. Uh, oh, this guy's awake. Let's see what he's about. Come on, Mario. Up and at him. See, I'm wide awake. Now I guess it's time for me to win big cash. What? All right. Let's go ahead and save with all these fights. I think we're probably close to another level up. But, you know, a lot of people, it's like looking at those games, it's like, oh, everybody, that kind of was part of the appeal of Smash Brothers when it started, I guess, was like, you can play as whoever's your guy you love earthbound you can play as ness you you're missing an f-zero kick since super nintendo we got you with captain falcon look at it and even i mean but even the main ones it's like i love the kirby games let me play as kirby that vault guard i come here to save him and he runs into the next room well so much for him um can i just take all this again neat um, okay, are these guys finite? Or is this just, like, kill room stuff of, like, just enemies are here until you complete your objective? Um, and why, why do some people, are those flowers that some people are dropping? Look like a lotus flower or something. But, um, it's interesting to me how these people, like, and maybe it's because some of the games follow more... I mean, maybe it's genre. Um, okay, what does Mario need? He probably needs... Well, no, he's got like 35 HP now. Whatever that just said. Star power or or special, I guess. Now that I'm realizing they have the same... I thought that was upgrading firepower. Um, or flower power. So let's... Uh, just HP, I guess. Whoa, 46. A lot more than I thought. Okay, they are finite. Let's keep killing them. Um... <laughs> said every dictator ever um yeah mallow needs hp though i didn't realize mario got so much from uh that level up he's gonna thunderbolt why not because he's probably really close to leveling up as well um there we go because maybe it's like oh i like you, you know my, for instance my girlfriend is huge on zelda and metroid um, and maybe it's because those are both more adventure-based. Specifically, she likes Metroid Prime. Very different from, you know, 
Super Metroid. Um, it's, Metroid Prime is a lot less Metroidvanian. Um, yeah, HP for you. He pro oh, man, he's way behind on stats in general. Okay, he went in. Is this the next room that he went in? Yeah. Never mind that. Never mind that. Guess what I found? It's a gold coin. A gold coin, and it's all mine. Oh, well, I found this in the cellar. Here, you can have it. A wake-up pin. It probably can't be put to sleep or something. Is that an I like a equipable? No. Uh, equip. Prevents mute and sleep attacks. Probably for Mallow, in case I need to heal or something. Alright. But for me, you know, she, she's big on those. For, for me, I was like, okay, well, Pokemon, Mario, and uh, Kirby. I guess if I'm, if I'm just looking at, like, the first 12, you know, the first 12 Smash Brothers characters, because then you get on to the modern ones, and for some people, I guess that could be their childhood still. It's like, oh yeah, Persona. Oddly enough, Persona can be some people's childhood because we're far enough along in this evolution of gaming and and how long some of these series have been around for. Because if you think about it, it's like, oh, if Ocarina of Time was your childhood, that was only the third Zelda game. Well, fourth, I guess there was Legend of Zelda 2. Um, you know, but Zelda had only been around for, I think, 11 years at that point or something like that. Um, where now, it's been around since, I think, 85. So that would have been, uh, what, 34 years? Um, so it was a lot different for it to be your childhood then, I guess. Not that it's any less important to people, but um, there's also way more options. If you look at the roster of Smash Brothers, that proves it all right there, I guess. Um, but for me, liking... You know, I guess there's a little bit of overlap. Like in Pokemon and Mario, both came from playing... Because I didn't even... I guess the first Mario games I really remember playing would have been a little bit of, like, Super Mario Land on Game Boy, but mostly Paper Mario and a little bit of Super Mario 64. That one was never as big for me. Um, I've never... Not to, I guess not to say that I've never cared about open world games. Um, they're trickier for me to get into. Like, honestly, I couldn't get that many more than a few hours into Skyrim without becoming just a little bit between overwhelmed and disinterested. Like, I guess the paradox of choice hit me. Um, and I was like, well, I, I don't know what to do, so I'm not sure I want to do any of it right now. Um, hook, hook. Oh, what's he? Not so fast, pal. Look at him! Can't even bounce! Hey, maybe we could bounce on his head! Um... But I was more into... Paper Mario rather than Super Mario 64. Um... And maybe that's because it was RPG-based. And, and it was the same way growing up with... It was... I didn't even think of it... I think I mentioned one of the previous episodes that I didn't even think of it as an RPG. But then I looked at it and I was like, oh, it's actually very... Pokemon-esque. It's very early... Not early RPG, but... A, a simplified, like, younger RPG. Um, and that, I mean, that comes with it being turn-based rather than full-blown... Um, what am I thinking? Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, and a lot of them were turn-based back then. Final Fantasy and whatnot. I'm scared, he says. You may not sleep in the princess's bed. Have you no manners? Heh. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know how many times? Oh no, the chancellor's still in the throne room. Oh, is that where they were jumping out of? Is that is that what I have to do? Great. Um. But I wonder, uh, you know, I, I didn't. Uh, what was I saying? Are you walking? Why are you? Why are you just walking through here? Jeez. Okay. Huh! Okay. Oh, cool. <laughs> now I get to do this. Where do you think everyone went? Well, gang, looks like we have ourselves a new home. We can bounce all around all day long. 
And there's no one here who can stand in our way. Yahoo! Let's bounce the night away. Okay. Am I about to get jumped? Huh? Oh, okay. I can't run through. Not so fast, pal. Look at him. Can't even bounce. Okay. It's the same thing. <laughs> oh, boy. Is this a boss? Is that a boss? Mac. Oop. Just had to catch my computer falling down. Um. Oh, uh, listen up, gang. These guys are gonna put a stop to our party. Are we happy about this? You're asking for it. Oh, you're gonna get it. You picked the wrong people to bounce with, bub. How about a fat lip to go with that ugly mustache? Rude. Holy. Okay, uh, they're laying it on with these boss battles already. Um, oh, and fire orbs one at a time, isn't it? Bodyguards, I'm sure the bodyguards I can just knock out pretty quick. Right? Not him, Mac, damn it. <laughs> okay, well then, lightning. Okay. Okay, oh, they're weak. Awesome. Still don't know what the deal is with that. Max stunned. He's never seen such a glorious mustache. Not fire orb. Okay, just time to attack. Everybody at random. Okay, so they're all within 30 damage. So I should go ahead and Thunderbolt again and then just keep attacking Mac. Boom. Um. Oh. Why is this guy not powerful at all? We just went from a guy doing 20 damage each to a guy that unleashes a flame wall at a six. Okay, what can he do unarmed? Nine, okay. Again, he, he, I think he's even doing more to this guy than he did to Croco. All right. What was I saying about this? I don't know. Um, it's interesting how many of the of the series now. You know, when you think about it, how many of them kind of overlap ideas, and I think it's because. You know, from what I've heard, Nintendo takes... It's just flame. It's just flame. Okay. Um, apparently, Nintendo will have ideas and then just portion them into piles of, like, it's... You know, that'll work in, in, a, in a Kirby game. That'll work in a Mario game. Let's save that for later. Oh, well, you know what? This was starting as a Fox game. Let's turn it into... Um, I don't know. A Yoshi game. Speaking of, when's the last time there was a Yoshi game? What? You're gonna do that right now? All right. Ugh, Thunderbolt. Oh, okay, what? Okay, I'm just gonna eat. What, what should I eat? Me opening the fridge. Oh, what's in here? I'll just eat some straight honey. No. Um, Thunderbolt. Go, Pikachu. I mean, Mallow. So, okay, I guess I'm... I mean, that's as much damage as I'm going to do with Mallow. So I'm not sure there's any other point in just doing that attack over and over again. Oh, okay. He's got some high defense. Like, I, I, this is just a long fight. This isn't a hard fight. I mean, how many of those things can I kill? I guess I get... Hopefully I'm getting tons of experience each time. Like, if I'm getting experience for every single one of these guys I kill... Then I'm get a freebie. Oh, awesome! Uh, 
Thunderbolt again. Okay, so what? This is such a weird battle. I'm just keeping them at bay. Oh, wait. All right. Man. What the? Who was that? Well, I mean, I don't even know who that was. Why did he matter? Why was he in charge of the Shy Guys? Why was he in the throne room? Who was Croco working for? This game gives more questions than answers. Now do I gotta play that children's game of fitting the shape in the in the right hole? Or should I say that's a grown-ups game? Like, well, did we just finish a whole chapter of this game? Is that what the there's only seven of these stars, right? What? All right. <laughs> Take that, Mario game. This is not good. This is not good. The mustachioed one is strong. Strong, yes. We must warn the boss. That wasn't the boss? <laughs> but the boss just blew up, didn't you see? All right. King, Chancellor, whatever you are. Gracious, it's you, Mario. What a relief. Once again, Mario to the rescue. Don't you forget it. But who were those? Chancellor! Sir, thank goodness you're all right. Mario! So it was you who got us through all of this. Of course. Who else? <laughs> My brother. <laughs> And Mario passed out then and there. Good, you're awake. First the princess and now this. It's just too much to bear. Mario! How about we ask my grandma for help? He knows everything. Excuse me, but... What the hell are you? Oh, hello. My name is Mallow. I'm from Tadpole Pond. Well... Any friend of Mario's is welcome here in Mushroom Kingdom. As I was saying, Mario, you are our only hope. Certainly no weird frogs that are accompanying you. Only hope. Mario, please, you must rescue the princess now. Mario, I'm in your debt, too. Great, you can just pay me $50,000. Oh, oh, you want to come with? Yeah, fine, we can do that, too. Wait. Why did I even come to Mushroom Kingdom in the first place? Guess I'll find out soon enough. Ah! <laughs> Could a Mac? The sword-like monster who- Oh, he- Oh! He was like a smaller version of the big sword guy? The- the- uh, what were they? The Smithy Gang! Who crashed into Mushroom Kingdom? Have anything to do with the star piece? I mean, he was guarding it. Or coming after it. Our heroes move on towards the Kiro sewers. Oh, and, and that's that. So long, Mario, and good luck. And that is that. I wonder if, how frequently does this refill? Uh, I'm, in, I'm on orders. Standing guard, fine. All right. How are y'all doing? Mario, hurry! The Chancellor waits! No, he doesn't. I think we're all done there. Alright. So let me sleep. Okay. And then we'll head to the sewers next episode. Hop out of bed. We're gonna go save. And I... Whoop, got a star, nice. Alright. One of seven down. See you guys next episode. Thanks for watching.